So we will learn the power spectral density and its properties. Uh, so I have taken a question from the great exam, previous year great exam. The power spectral density of a real process XT for positive frequency is shown below. Here we have the power spectral density given and uh, we have to determine the values of expected value of x square t and expected value x t these two values we have to determine and here we have the power spectral density so to deal with this question we must know the power spectral density so here we will learn first of all the power spectral density and its some properties and then after we will try to solve this problem okay so i start Power spectral density is nothing but uh, just the Fourier transform of the autocorrelation function. As we well know that the autocorrelation function is nothing uh, but uh, given by this formula Rx tau minus infinity to infinity xt xt minus tau dt. So what is uh, being uh, shown here by this function is just the relation by time delay means of signal with itself how it is related with uh, if there is a time delay so this time delay for this time delay how the function relates itself is given by the autocorrelation function so this is a time function time domain function autocorrelation function and its Fourier transform of course it will be in frequency domain or omega domain you can say the power spectral density will be in frequency domain so in notation we can write rx tau and its Fourier transform as sx omega or sxf so this is nothing but the power spectral density and this is autocorrelation function we can define the power spectral density in terms of the function xt as well means in frequency domain it can be defined as sxf equals to limit t tends to infinity 1 by t xt f square this is the energy of the function at particular frequency f and its average value means uh, how the power is being concentrated at a particular frequency is given by this power spectral density the formula says this thing only how the power has been concentrated at a particular frequency is given by this formula means this power spectral density so we can define power spectral density as how the power at particular frequency is being concentrated so um, this is just the introduction of power spectral density and autocorrelation function but uh, this will not help you in solving the problem in exam you have a very less time where you have to solve using some properties and the properties are as below the properties of power spectral density three properties that has been used in this uh, problem and this is the first one the uh, integration of the entire power spectral density in entire frequency domain is just equal to the total power means expected value of x square t and if we take only the frequency at 0 f equals to 0 means uh, dc value of um, the power then we have to just integrate at 0 minus from 0 minus to 0 plus the frequency and we can get easily the dc power so these two relation will be important to solve the question total power ex square t is integration in entire frequency domain and dc power is given by just integrating from 0 minus to 0 plus the power spectral density and one more thing that we must note that uh, power spectral density is an even function that is sxf equals to sx minus f so these three properties using these three properties we will solve the question so here I start solving the problem so as we have we had the function only in half frequency means in positive side only so as we know that by the property that it is an even function so the similar half part will be in negative side so I have drawn the entire uh, sx function means power spectral density function here and here I start by finding out the total power ex square t by integrating to, uh, to, uh, to the entire function entire frequency domain from minus infinity to plus infinity 
In frequency, it can be written as SXFDF from minus infinity to infinity. When you take it in omega term, it in omega terms, we just divided by 2 pi. As here we can see, 1 by 2 pi minus infinity to infinity, SX omega, D omega. Now, the integration, the integration can be done easily by this, the Sohn graph. Here we can say that this will, uh, this delta function will, the integration of this delta function is nothing but the constant value that is 400 and the triangular function we can uh, easily find out the area. So here I have find out uh, 1 by 2 pi of course and there is two parts of the function so I will just multiply it by 2 and 400 for the delta function constant plus area of the triangle that is half into 2 into 10 raised to 3 here it is 10 raised to 3 radian per second so 2 into 10 raised to 3 into 6 6 is the height so multiplied and the final calculation gives 6 400 by pi so this is expected value of x square t and next we will find the dc power expected value of xt whole square 0 minus 2 0 plus just we will so here we can see that uh, there is no any function at 0 frequency so it will be just 0 and the uh, ext square will be 0 it means ext will be 0 so we have finally got the results x square t is 6400 by pi and ext as 0 so we can check the answer which one is the correct one so here we can check that uh, this one is b is the correct option 6400 divided by pi comma 0 so in this way we can solve easily this type of question the power spectral density question if asked in exam by using the properties that i have discussed here in next videos i will uh, come with some other concepts thank you so much for watching